Okay, that's not a real well-timed clap, but let's do it. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the B&O stream today. It is November, the 7th of November, 2022. I hope you have had a wonderful week, or are going to have a wonderful week, uh, or at least you've got today. Um, <laughs> I, I am glad someone literally just pings me on Discord and is like, I, lo I love you, I love you my bro, if you come into my chat, say hi cool um <laughs> like you're like yo I'm, this is like a stream time uh but yeah no today is the st well not today it's the seventh day of november um but it's hot it's not halloween and it ain't christmas christmas is december you, you've got the best like holiday of them all skyrim day you can't skip on that anyway uh yeah today i'm playing uh, oh my gosh, let's, let's figure out what's the best way to switch to this. Okay, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best to stream this as best as I can. Hopefully this works. Okay. What? Oh, did we switch? Okay, that transition probably didn't work at all. I, like, I do the, I do the transition and when my screen resolution changes, it absolutely panics it does no idea what to encode so uh i apologize for the oh, i apologize for the stream encoding kind of flipping out also yeah this this game is a bit of a pain to run it's not the most fun but it's hopefully gonna work for a whole stream and that's what counts have some high voltage software it's got, it's actually, I think it's Danger High Voltage Software, I think that's the name. I don't know, I can't remember any other games under their belt. Uh, <coughs> but yeah, this one's got a little bit of history on mine. Uh, I think I've spoken about the uh, a handful of games that got robbed, including the Monsters Inc. game that I played, um, I think, this time last year. And uh, LEGO Races is, and, and Vanishing Point, and now LEGO Races is kind of the last of that bunch uh, to to encounter. Um, I was a big fan of car racing games. I think it's probably because one of the earliest games I ever played was uh, Mega Race on DOS, and I don't know how interesting that game will be for a stream, but I think LEGO Racers will be an interesting one. Um, but it kind of came out in that weird era of... Oh, he is so dead. Um, it came out in this weird era of... I guess everyone has to, like, have their own spin on some existing franchise of games. There we go. <laughs> have your champagne. Here we are. Lego races. Okay, brace yourself, there's a resolution change. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, okay, we're good. We're good. We're alive. We're alive. <laughs> Legit, it kicks in so hard. And here we are at the game. Wow, this is kind of loud, actually. Don't you agree? Audio options. Oh, you're about to change how the game works. If you're unsure about these settings, ask an older person for, for help. Dude, kids have no idea what's going on here. And it's still really loud. Like, the music is quieter, but it's also like... Oh, I'll pop it there. I'm pretty sure that's snapping. Yeah, that's snapping. Um, now, I don't want to go into video options, um, but the video... Actually, uh, we'll bump it up by one. Uh, I don't want to go into the video options um, because when you exit it, it restarts the graphics adapter on the game. Um, also, game options is hilarious. It's just the number of opponents and race lives, sure. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just the video adapter. There's no graphic settings, whatever. Um... It's literally just the adapter, and since uh, it's an old game, you should be using DigiVoodoo, the magical piece of software that does the job. Um, the other kind of, I guess one other weird thing with running this game, compared to other older games, also I'm running a PC version, that's something I don't often do. Um, 
But uh, the other thing is that uh, the full motion video at the beginning there uh, runs in its own kind of pop-out window, and that's why it flips out with the resolution, because it's doing its own thing. Um, interestingly, if you try running that in anything other than Windows XP compatibility mode, it just fails. It immediately fails. And I looked it up, it's because the, uh, the way that it's drawing the videos is actually, like, allows remote code execution. It opens up vulnerabilities in your computer when you try and do it, so that's a fun thing to say while you're live streaming it. Uh, but yeah, this is LEGO Racist. This is uh, a game I had on the PS1. Uh, there is also a Nintendo 64 version, and this PC version, they're all the same, uh, except for the little bit of presentation, the PS1 version runs worse and doesn't have texture filtering. The Nintendo 64 version pretty much looks on par with this, granted the lower resolution- oh, I've kicked in with the demo. Um, pretty much runs on par with, the lower, with a bit of a lower resolution, um, but- uh, and, and it runs at 60fps, which is really nice. Uh, but the, um, the PC version is the best because you get that full motion video, you get the better audios, like, uh, well, in general. Um, and, uh, you still get the, the 60fps, whereas the PlayStation 1 version, yeah, it doesn't run the best. Uh, the Nintendo 64 version, interestingly, has its own intro as well because it can't do the video. It's not as impressive looking, but it's kind of fun that they did their own. Um, there also exists a Game Boy Color version, but how about let's, let's dive into it. So, this game has one thing going for it. It's, it's a kart racer, there are 12 tracks across three cups with four races each, and then you have to do all of them but backwards. And then there is a mythical one race, uh, you know, event at the end. Uh, come first in the cup, you unlock the next one. That's about it. Um... You can also build your own LEGO Racer. This is probably the most fun bit of the game, is the fact that you get to just come up with all these really wacky looking designs. Like, there's this like weird period of LEGO designs where I didn't really know what they were going for, but you know what? It's kind of good fun. We shall be angry red because the random button seemed to pick that. Uh, let's, let's make him... Let's change the snapshot, let's make him angry. There we go, nice. Yeah, of course you gotta call him yourself. But this is what I look like. And since we're angry red, uh, you also get to build your car. And this is... <coughs> this is probably the, the big highlight of the game. Is building something that you can call your own. You got uh, four different uh, torso types for the car. Uh, it's not really too much different about them. I kind of like the medieval, like, carriages. They're kind of good fun. You can click quick build. Which, I, I don't know, you, you, you could pick this. It's kind of lame. Let's build our own. And then deal with the, <laughs> deal with the controls. This is, a uh, real shocking. It's, it's real, real shocking to, to control, but you try your best. Um, so obviously the medieval stuff is all grey. Did you get swords? Actually, let's stick some of these on. Gosh, it's like, I can't, I can't select it because it's all the way up here. Uh, let's see if I can, can I go down? I can't, I can't go down here, so let's just pop it here. Uh, pop it there. I also like how you can stack the bricks on top of each other, if they're not too tall, which I guess in this case it is. Uh, let's see, what other fun bricks do we have? We've got fire torches, gotta have them. Pop that down, pop, uh, okay, <laughs> move, move it, move it over, just move it this way, spin it. There you go. Pop it down. Let's stick a flag on it, why not? Okay, no flag while this thing's in there. Okay. This is, uh, this is... Absolute pain. Here we go. Better flag? Just gotta flip it this way. No. Still no, you're telling me this doesn't fit? 
that would totally fit. I don't know what they're angry about. Uh, you get some regular old racing bricks. How about let's get rid of... Oh, is there any way to actually get rid of a piece? Or is it like you've got to undo all of them? I didn't really plan this one out, did I? Okay, let's get some racing bricks in here. I really wanted to like make a make a design that made it look very phallic, but uh, I think it's probably like beside me now. I, I'm struggling so hard to even like come up with a design that like looks okay. This is uh, this is clearly high art design right here. Ah, oh, can we fit the spoiler on? No, we can't. There you go, just side spoiler. Easy. Can I fit this on? I think this might be facing the wrong way. Alright, how about let's up these two. And then... Oh, let's move it back over. This is the most gripping part of the gameplay, but we gotta have something that we can call our own, you know? Why play LEGO Racers and then pick a pre-built? Because they have a, a character called Joan of Cart, and it's kind of worth it just for that. There we go. Now I can spin that around, and there we go. Look at that. Style. And even better... That's... <laughs> That flag is not going up there. At all. Nope. Okay. Okay, what other pieces do we have? We got moon pieces. Lots of moon pieces. You get more bricks as well. For each cup you clear, there is more stuff available. I can't recall if there is a limit with the number of pieces you can have. Given that I can, like, start having stuff hang off like this, though. Maybe there's something to this madness. Maybe I could have like, uh... The big, like, side panel- oh my gosh, this one. There we go. Pop that there. Down left. Pop it right next to the arm. That is clipping the arm. That's all okay. This is, this is absolute style right here. What, what is going on? I don't know. But you know what? Okay, now we just need something on the front to make it real cool. <laughs> A giant flag blocking my, my first person view. Actually, let's put the spoiler on the front. There we go. Look at that, it, it, it fits. There you go, spoiler on the front. <laughs> That's totally how cars work. There you go. Okay. So now, you're all good. That's me, that's, that's Pandio. You can test drive it. You got a little test driving track where you can drive your monstrosity car around. Um, as well as also getting a bit of an idea of the controls. You got this like little U-ring, U-ring? That's not the shape at all. A little oval with a bit of a jump down the middle. And then you got this uh, little dirt track over here. I don't think there's really any secrets or really anything to look at here. It's just... It's just uh, like a little dirt track. It's, it's nice and fun and interesting. But like, yeah, once you've driven around it a little bit, it's like, yeah, that's... That's a track. There's a door here which actually lets you finish as well, which is kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, so anyway, that's building a car. Uh, we've got the car you build as well as Joan of Cart, which is nice. And then Turbocharger, Scooter, and Robo Racer. Those are your four characters. They're very odd characters, but so am I, I guess. Anyway, pick your character, he does a swing, and uh, on the high seas or on land, this pirate guy says. 
You are no match for the great Captain Redbeard, so give it up, matey. Arr. Get a little intro from the, uh, I guess the boss of the cup. He will definitely be driving better than everyone else. Press accelerate on go, and you will go zoom in. You hold down, oh my gosh. Uh, drifting is not like Mario Kart, it's just hold the button and you absolutely crazy grip. I think you lose a little bit of top speed, but it's not too bad. Other than that, you've got uh, power-ups which you pick up, you can tell. Oh my gosh, I stopped for some reason. Um, and the power-ups are color-coded, so the blue ones are shields, the green ones are boosts, the red ones are forward projectiles, and the yellow ones are backwards projectiles. Uh, I think the shields, uh, oh, well, I guess also the gimmick with the power-ups is that, well, take one shot, by the way. The gimmick with the power-ups is that, uh, you, you can pick up these white bricks, and, uh, if you pick up three of them, or rather, if you pick up, well, any of them, will level up the next power-up you use. So, I can queue, like, a blue power-up here, and then I'll have it a level two shield right now. Or level three, because I guess I've got two of the white bricks. Whoop. But you take a hit, you lose one of the bricks. So that's your that's your catch. Now you're gonna see me constantly getting the level four green because uh, the basic green turbo is like it's a little tiny turbo boost like this. You get you know one white brick and it's like it's a bit better of a turbo boost. Get two bricks, it's fairly better as a tur uh, of a turbo. Get three. And then it's like, yeah, no, it just, it just warps you forward in the track. It's inf- maybe not infinitely, it's so much better than the basic, like, turbo. Uh, the downside is sometimes you get cases like this where there ain't no greens for a long while. And then, uh, obviously you're gonna use it and just teleport over the finish line because <laughs> you've, you've gone way too fast. Um, I've also failed to demonstrate any shortcuts on this track and I don't know if I'm gonna really come up with great opportunities to show off the shortcuts. Um, a lot of the shortcuts are unlocked by firing a forward projectile at the wall, um, which gets a little annoying because uh, the like uh, leveling up the red power-ups to turn them into like homing attacks and you kind of don't want homing attacks. You just want something that fires forward so other than that, yeah, it's it's the it's a kart racer, a 1999 kart racer, plays exactly as you'd expect. But you know what? It's it's got its charm. It's got its Lego isms. <laughs> I like Lego is at this like I don't know how old Lego even is. It's definitely older than I I feel like it is. Um, it's definitely got video games from the. Uh, earlier 90s. Like, Lego Island is much more older. But, uh... Yeah, it's... I, I mean, it's clearly ca- Oh my gosh, I'm not building this boost at all. I mean, yeah, sure, man. You, you just go forward. Oh. <laughs> you can see I, I'm struggling a little bit. I, it's been, like, actually two decades since I played this game. I'm not even... I'm not even gonna lie. It's all oh my goodness. <laughs> Hearing all the characters do their fun grunts as well. Jeez, I am not having a fun time building a turbo because they hide them all around these like corners. I gotta grab this boost. And then we'll get him with the cheeky peeky. Uh, I guess the, the, the best and worst part about this game is how horrendous the rubber banding is. Mm -mm. The rubber banding is so atrocious. It's like, you can see that, like, they're not too far forward, but the moment you go ahead of them, they go double speed. They absolutely floor it. I'm gonna, like, hold it narrow around this corner. Nope. I got no turbo. I've actually got no turbo. I'm pretty sure there's a turbo just like around this corner. There we go. This is what I mean. It's it's kind of like, eh, it's a bit cheesy. It's so cheesy. Dude, he's vibing driving that car though, I'll tell you that. He is going, so. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, no, that's that's two of the tracks down. Uh, the, the tracks are probably not too quick, and I'm actually curious how much of this I'll be able to play in one stream, because I, I kind of thought, eh, this is probably enough for like a one-off uh, kind of game, but it's also like, yeah, is it possible to beat in a single, in a single stream? Because, I mean, you know, granted, I spent like 15 minutes noodling around at the beginning, but then after that, it's like, whoops, I need the boost. I, I swung past the boost. I'm dealing with an analog, I, this is, this is the one thing, I can't control an analog stick doing digital inputs. I'm just atrocious at that. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Uh, also, be prepared for the, the, uh, the warp to basically throw you into a wall. Like, there's some points where just using the warp just is not as effective because you spend so much time recovering. Uh, I think one gimmick with this track is that you've got these, like, lights here. And if you go through three blues quickly enough, maybe? I, you can't tell until the end, but the, the door opens up and it gives you a fairly nice shortcut. But I can't remember how it works. Oh, there he goes. He's zooming, and so am I. Let's see how, how uh, much of a lead I will keep on this guy. He's definitely catching up. But then I can just do this and get... Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, that was a 24 second lap because I had like a boost, two and a half boosts going over it. And now they've crossed the line. It's like the rubber banding isn't good enough, man. So, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, load times are so much quicker on this version than the PlayStation 1 version as well. So, if you're, if you're playing the PS1 version like I did as a kid, You've got to be patient, because the cups just... They take too long. They take... All the tracks take way too long to load. And running at a lower frame rate makes it a lot trickier to keep up with as well. There's a fun little shortcut on uh, both the left and there if you want to go for it. But, you know, you could do this. Skip forward, you know. Uh, so I'm pretty sure the the forward projectile power-ups are actually kind of fun because uh, you get like a cannonball as your basic one. It's like a, um, I guess a green shell that dies when it hits a wall. Then you get a grappling hook. So it kind of like slows down the guy you're grabbing onto and then boosts you forward. Uh, I know you get this like homing rocket, which is definitely killer. But I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, this mummy's curse as well. It's like anyone who runs into it is just like slowed for so long. Uh, oh, there we go. I, psh, buttons. Well, I just let this guy catch up to me. That's fun. Uh, oh yeah, you can also change the UI in the bottom right. Is he constantly firing fireballs at me? Or candles? There is one. just going so you get a little speedometer if you want um, a close radar I feel like the resolution is not low enough to really benefit it's it's like you know, you know how it is that's super awkward that's super awkward that's super awkward <laughs> Now you're gonna shake your head in, in pain. You get, by the way, if you fall out of the top two, you are so far caught down. Like, because, because yeah, this, this boss character is constantly, constantly like getting first or second. So, and that's it, that's the cup. Thanks everyone, catch you all next year. <laughs> uh, but yeah, after winning the cup, you get a one, and then, oh my gosh. And he begrudgingly gives you his car set, uh, which basically gives you another, like, body and a handful of, uh, pieces to go with it. I'm not too sure if you get cosmetics for them. I think you do, actually. And suddenly there's a new guy on the title screen who absolutely weird- freaks me out. I hate it. Um, yep, scroll up to the top, and this is circuit number two. Coasting champion King Kahuka. Well, let's keep going. <laughs> 
Me King Kahuka beat you like tribal drum. Uh, and do victory dance. Uka ook ook. Very sensitive. Uh, do I remember anything about this game past the first cup? Uh, not much at all, actually. There he is there on the um, second place, and now first. There he goes. Let's get him with a cannonball. <laughs> I love how, like, the explosion is just so lasting. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a shortcut which is here. Like, yeah, you could just go for it. Oh. Hitboxes are a little janky, but that's okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this game, I don't know, it's got its charm. And he's stealing all the power-ups. And so am I, apparently, so... Who's really winning here? Is he going for it? He's going for it? I'm going for it. Let's go for it. Uh, but yeah, I think it's got its charm. Uh, the music's a bit manic. It doesn't... I don't, I don't know what exactly Lego music even would be, but... It's, it's definitely, uh... It's not, I don't know, it's, it's near midi. We'll just go with that. It's got some vibes, it's got some jams. There are no turbos anywhere. They, they hate me all of a sudden. No turbos. Yo, where's the turbos? Yo, where are the turbos? Uh... <laughs> I... Are you kidding me? There are no turbos anywhere. <laughs> there are just none. It, it didn't want me to have any. It didn't want me to have any at all. Alright, where, where's cursing the guy behind me? Yeah, I don't think he ran into it. <laughs> That's okay. If there's one thing that beats a turbo, it's a shortcut. Well, it doesn't beat it, but yeah. I also like how there's different... AIs in each cup. That's nice. But yeah, 30, 20, 10, and then just 3, 2, 1. It's just, it's just like, yeah, nah, no points for you. I remember this one being an absolute pain to, like, turn left and right in. And then I played Bowser's Castle and realized it's just <laughs> the same kind of idea. I think they know my strats. They're just not spawning any green power-ups. Oh, there's one. I know, yeah, when you pick up a color, it's like, it does get replaced with a, a random color. So the power-up that you see is not going to be the power-up that's there next time. But... Yeah, this is like, this is a very Royal Raceway meets Bowser's Castle kind of track. Oh my gosh. Listen, I'm not, I'm not going to catch up if I'm doing stuff like that. There we go. <laughs> Easy shortcut. Easy cut. Yeah, I can imagine this game kind of running on any computer <laughs> for 1999. I'm like, Quake 3 came out this year. There's, the, there's bound to be better looking games than Quake 3, but... Uh, isn't there the three power-ups around the map? Okay. Oh, okay. It was fun. <laughs> I could just use the, the three turbo. This gives you, like, a real good, like, turn as well. So it's not, like, it's not too cheap. But, it, I don't know. The, the warp just feels so much better, so... Do that dance. Do that dance. There we go. Ice Planet Raceway. You can barely catch the names of the tracks. It loads a bit too quick. I've made one terrible impulsive purchase towards my next uh, upgrade as well. I bought a was a an SN 850X. SN? Yeah. The which is Western Digital's pretty much like top end 
SSD. Uh, now, I guess PCIe 5 based SSDs are going to come up pretty soon, but... Uh, I, I'm, I'm always... I'm actually a little concerned. Oh, we got the spiral. Okay. Pro tip, don't warp in the, into the spiral. Um, and there's the Titanic. Or the HMS Borealis, something like that. Um, this kind of reminds me of Choco Mountain. Like it's snow, but... You know what I mean? It's not even that ice physics-y. Actually, I guess the same year as well, you had Crash Team Racing. Like, there's a lot of, like, different kinds of kart races that came out this time. What was another one? There, there must be another one. Toy Story Racer? Maybe I'll get to that one at some point. It's like, it's, it's this bizarre period where everyone has a kart racer. It's, I can't, I, I don't know, it was a weird phenomenon. Like, why, I guess? That's the bit, that's a real question. Oh. Did I even, like, go that much forward? I don't think I really did. Oh, I guess I did, yeah. Yeah. The drifting is just so wacky, though. Oh, boing! <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> he hasn't figured it out. I think he's actually, like, forgotten his... his I, I don't think he knows. He can't steer. The AI's broken. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I have a... I have a fear that, like, PCIe 5 SSDs, like, when people do, well, actually, current PCIe 4 SSDs get toasty? Not impossible to cool, but definitely, like, it's a drive. You don't expect it to get, like, that hot, but it, they do. Um, PCIe 5 ones, I think there are worries that, like, they might be too hot. Um, not, like, too hot that they can't run, but too hot that maybe they... They're gonna need active cooling, or they're gonna, um... Uh, what, what, what are they gonna need? Just, just, like, way more juice than people really, like, expect to put into a drive. Like, hard drives, or SSDs, the SATA ones, they're amazing. They take, like, three watts. They're really, like, easy to run. Regular hard drives, like, yeah, six, sure. These, I don't know, man. They might start, like, really drawing a fair bit, just to achieve what, you know what they want. And that's, I mean, that's okay, I guess, but I think, I don't know if everyone's really prepared for that. Um, myself included, I really don't know if I'm, I'm going to be ready for that, so I'm just going to go and, eh, go with a good Gen 4 drive, and we'll be happy. Also, it's way faster than anything I've got, because I've never used an M.2 drive. I'm still on a SATA drive. It's got an MX500, it does the job, it's probably, like, one of the best SATA drives out there. There's probably a Samsung one that's fairly equivalent, but... Uh, but it's... Uh, Price-wise, I don't know. I like the MX500. It's good. Um, but it's like, yeah, it's time for an upgrade. And honestly, like, I do video scrubbing work that kind of gets a bit... You know, gets a bit gutsy on the SSD. I don't, my quality is not too high, but it's definitely like, yeah, it could be nice. Um... Maybe as well, just like in general, let's get some games loading quicker. I don't know. Like, I mean, you've seen how long the loading screens in this game are. Like, seriously, count count how many seconds this goes for. Oops. You see? Took forever. Can't believe it, so. Uh, other thing as well, when you've got a drive that transfers so fast, you've probably got to have a processor that's able to... Um, <coughs> to accommodate for it. Like... I mean, I guess, like, if you're doing so many kinds of transfers, I think there is, like, a degree of, like, eh, your process is probably, like, doing a fair bit of, like, it's got to care more, so. Um, look at this fella. Look at this fella. So, there he is, number three. Basil the Batlord. Basil the Batlord. Everyone's favorite character from LEGO. Hiss. Don't expect to win. Not against the frightful power of Dazzled the Bat Lord. My left, my left here was enjoying that one. 
Oh, this track. I remember this track was even more painful than the last castle one. Whoa. It's Volcano Bowser's uh, castle, I guess. I am not getting any of these uh, any of these bricks. Ah, oh, you stole it! Don't do it! Do it. He's doing it! I think the later AIs also start getting cheeky and they do legitimately start, you know, building their, their powers a bit more. You heard him have that sound play. But I think only the final boss really knows the turbo strat. He's, he's deciding to shield himself. I'm deciding to try and figure out where the, where the turbos are. There it is. There it goes. And he goes. He zoomed off. There, nope. Nope. I'm gonna need a turbo, bro. I'm gonna need a turbo. Oh, oh. I'm gonna need a turbo. He's, he's just giving me no turbos. Oh. Oh. Nope. How do you keep up with anything? How do, how do you compete? It's like a banshee boardwalk kind of chicane, isn't it? There's a lot of real wacky tracks in like N64 Mario Kart, I'll tell ya. It's just like, you know, there's a degree of flow and rhythm to tracks that, or to race tracks that just, they didn't really do back then. There ain't no turbo anywhere. I'm trying my best, bro, but like, that, there's no turbo. I think I've got to commit. Aww. Oh. Yeah, this is what happens. You get. Oh. Maybe I should reset it. Oh, and this happens to everyone who passes by. Maybe I should legitimately reset it. Oh, unless this gets the guy in front of me, like, real seriously. Did that just turn around? I think I should just reset it. Okay, so... Does Restart Circuit also, like... <laughs> like, stuff redrying the whole cup? Just start the circuit again? Hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh, just whiplash from that. Oh. Visual whiplash. See ya. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure of the, if, if you do need, like, super fast processes to handle faster drives. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. I'm still in this kind of weird spot, though, where it's like, I, I haven't quite, like, locked in, um, getting a better graphics card. I don't know, the 4090 stuff. I haven't talked about the melting uh, power adapters, or at least like the... They're not really catching fire, they are just melting at the adapter plug side. Uh, but it's definitely like... I mean, how, how many people is this affecting? Who knows, because it's Reddit. But it's definitely affecting people on Reddit. People are coming up with different pictures showing the same problem. Uh, one guy then claimed it was, it was applying to his, uh, power supplies cable. As in, not the adapter itself, but actually the cable itself, and I don't know. It's a very Halloween map, isn't it? Uh... And that's a bit worrying. It's like, as a new purchaser, what do you get? Um... I already had a, um... Uh, had a, uh... A small... I guess blurb on my uh, my soapbox about the uh, the new AMD GPUs, um, and they actually they don't look half bad. Like I, I'm probably I probably sound a bit more critical in, <coughs> in that soapbox post than I, I probably like am about it. Uh, so AMD's got new two, two new graphics cards. Uh, they're 900 US dollars and 1,000 US dollars uh, minus one dollar because that's how it works. Um, there we go. Is this another pirate ship level? We've had three levels with a pirate ship in it. 
I can honestly not tell you at all anything about this track. I, I cannot remember it. Wow. Wow. Did you just grab that guy? Apparently, uh, boosts are just impossible to, to get. You cannot get boosts in this, in this game anymore. Is that a shortcut there? On the right? Maybe it is. Oh, oh, oh! Hey! <laughs> there we go. He's right behind me, isn't he? Get oil spilled. He just ignores it. Okay, then. Okay. Nope, mine. It's not yours, it's mine. That one, that one was mine, but sure. Okay. I can't tell you what the different shields do. I'm pretty sure one of them hurts people when you touch them. Oops. Oops. I appreciate that oil spill is just a spin as well. It's, it's no brick loss. Oh, he's gonna hog up all the white bricks, isn't he? Dang it. And then I lose I lose my power up because I'm an idiot. And he's gonna he's gonna steal it again. Listen, we've got a chance. We've got a chance. Oof. We've got a chance. There's the chance. The chance of a lifetime. Stuff your video game. <laughs> uh, I feel so dirty doing it all the time, but it's kind of how you have to beat the game. There's no other way you're gonna like overtake everyone. You just gotta commit. You just you just zip past them. <laughs> oh, those phases are classic. That's a good phase right there. Uh, yeah, no, the new GPUs are kind of expensive. They definitely look, uh, like, at first glance, I was thinking, ooh, that's not, like, amazing on value. Like, it's about the same as the current cards. But I think the bit that I have to kind of take home is, uh, so watch out for the lightning. Uh, the bit that you have to take home is that uh, the new these new cards are the same as, or rather, the, the 6900 XT, the flagship two years ago, was also a thousand bucks. The 6950 XT was eleven hundred bucks. Uh, I looked at that and I went, that's kind of a lot of money for the flagship. Um, definitely good value against the, oh yeah, also one of these, two of these uh, paths at the end is like, it's just a curse right then and there. See ya! See <laughs> Ah, oh, so good. So good when you just skip everyone. Oops. And then you you jank the physics. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're not actually too bad. The other thing I've got a little bit of a caution on is uh, the $900 card kind of seems like it's there to upsell the $1,000 card. It's like 900 bucks and 1000 bucks. they're close. They're pretty close in price. But it seems that the $900 card, the 7900 XT, is uh, probably a bit more than 90%, uh, or rather, it, uh, sorry, what's the phrase? Um, it will probably be uh, lacking more than, sorry, ah, I can't phrase it. It's 90% of the price, but it has less than 90% of the cores, the memory, the memory bandwidth. Um, and that, that kind of feels like it's probably going to be less than 90% of the performance. Um, which means, are people just going to feel upsold into getting the... Um... Oops. Whoa. Uh, are people going to get upsold into the thousand one? Probably. Um, I still think the best part about these cards is that uh, they make Intel look surprisingly okay. Because neither Nvidia nor AMD are trying to beat out their last one in terms of price and performance. They're kind of on par, but extending the echelon. 
which is great if you need to extend the echelon, but I honestly think... Oh, wow, what a what a fun map, like, event. Just, just kill me. Kill me now. The memories are flooding back in. I do remember sucking at this game a lot. I do remember, like, really struggling with it. And maybe it's, like, just because I'm old. Wow, okay. Maybe it's because I'm just a bit older and I've... I mean, I have played this before in a past life, I guess. I'm, I'm not dealing with... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh! Oh, oh! I, I was like, why... I... You, you, okay, if you're looking straight forward, you wouldn't have seen that, but the uh, the boss character just warped forward, and it, it didn't even click in my head that he warped, but he, he totally did. Well, too bad. Two can play at this game. Yeah, shortcuts up the wazoo. I tell ya. I gotta be careful for him warping after me as well. Okay, oh. Mm -mm. Warping past the UFOs, kind of irritating though. Oh my gosh! Don't, don't. Ah, oh, please, please, please. This is, this is it's the word. At least I didn't steal all my power, and he got zapped. Sucks to suck, bro. Uh, I think we commit. Yeah, we just commit. Get to the boost. There we go. Easy money. Uh, is that three cups and I'm 46 minutes into the stream? <laughs> yeah, we might just beat this this, this stream. <laughs> this is this is the whole game. This is the whole game, basically. <laughs> uh, there we go. So if you enjoyed those 12 tracks, uh, well, enjoy them a bit more. Because, uh, this is the point where the game kind of goes... What do we get people to do? Because, remember, Mario Kart forces people to drive slowly. Like, 50cc really does add time to the length of the game. It's, uh, it's Indian Jones. It's him himself. Uh, rather it's Johnny Thunder. So, anyway, notice that the tracks, uh, literally the same name. They even call it Imperial Grand Prix. That's the... Yeah, they, they didn't even change the names of the tracks, but note how they're in reverse order. Hey there, I have to warn you. Me and my car are ready to win any race, but good luck anyway. Okay. Vienna, yeah, no, it's the same tracks, but mirror mode. It's not even backwards, it's just mirror mode. So... Which perhaps, maybe this predates other mirror modes? I'm not too sure which, uh, which Mario Kart's have mirror mode. But, uh, it's not, it's not backwards, it's just, oh, It's just mirror mode. Um, and, and then, yeah, you're doing the fourth race first. Like, <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm dying on the inside. Uh, yeah, not really too much to say, but... You know what? Second time's... Second time's the charm, so... Uh, anyway, uh... Our other story is, and, and Blundo's Buy a Guide of 2022. Uh... If you're looking for an upgrade, don't feel ashamed to just get a last-gen GPU. Whether it be AMD, whether it be NVIDIA, uh, whether you think Intel GPUs suck. Don't actually knock it too hard. Uh, maybe... Maybe Intels are a bit risky. Um... I love how that falls over. Um, but I think there's a certain crowd out there where an Intel GPU is actually, like, not too shabby, because it's, like, here in Australia, it's like, you can get an A750 for 550 bucks, uh, and that's, just, that's its launch price, which is quite crazy as well, maybe you'll see some better stuff, um, soon, uh, but it's also, like, it's got DisplayPort 2.0, which might support 2.1, who knows, um, because the spec, the hardware spec is the same, it's just whether it certifies, or whether it recertifies well. Um, it's got AV1 encoding, uh, the, the ray tracing performance is 
um, sometimes better. So I feel like it's got a lot to sort out in drivers, but they're not too bad. Um, as for AMD and NVIDIA, I mean, AMD didn't show off any tech that really demanded the new graphic card. Like, unless you wanted DisplayPort 2.1, uh, which, granted, I don't know any monitors that support it. And also, uh, I think a lot of these GPUs seem to, like, forget HDMI 2.1's a thing, which is fine, I feel. Like, it supports the resolutions most people really want to use, which is 4K 144. That's the big thing. Um, you could use display stream compression, sure, but, like, we can do it in, in, with HDMI. So, why, you know, why argue with that? If you want to push further, sure, but, uh, AMD, they pulled the 8K card, and, uh, honestly, it's like, 8K is great to push for and I think there's gonna be people out there who do really really need 8k if they've got like uh, m much like larger p oh my gosh <laughs> uh, I turbo too hard I turbo too hard bro <laughs> or did I oh my gosh oh no I skipped a lap I flew under the track and skipped a lap! Ah! There you go, world record time right there. You've, you've seen it today. Blendo gets a world record time and specifically that track. Gosh, I... <laughs> I, I wasn't anticipating. I wasn't anticipating, like, breaking the game. I was just gonna, like... Here's a fun little game. It's, it's, a. Uh, you know, you may remember it. It's got a sequel that I, uh, avidly remember a lot more. Um, I'm not sure why. But, uh, yeah, okay, let's, let's glitch into the ground again. Wow. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Yeah, uh, yeah, um, yeah, GPUs, it's fine going to last gen, it's really fine, I don't think there's any, any real need to go for newer gen. Uh, on the CPU front, uh, I think AMD Zen 3 is still real killer, um, I also don't hate, and I'm, I'm probably gonna commit to Raptor Lake, I think everything I've seen out of it, it's like, all the teething issues with Old Lake, were sorted out in updates to Windows, updates to uh, motherboard firmware. Raptor Lake doesn't have any of those issues day one. It's feeling pretty fine, uh, which is great. Um, and uh, the performance is looking great on the table. And you can still use old older motherboards, but even then the newer ones aren't that crazy expensive. The one catch with um, both of these is if you're spending that much on a CPU, like for the 13900K, um, which granted you should not consider the 13900k if you're gonna play games and only games if you're gonna stream them Set 3700, but even then I'd say the 13600k might be pretty, you know, fine enough If you're really gonna power use 13700k and when your time is on the line Then 3900k sure Or you're super like you're doing crazy amounts of power usage then sure uh, But I'd also say like yeah, if you're gonna just play games AM4 still does fine. It's clearly behind in multi-core performance, but I've, like, I've been under the impression since Ryzen, like, really came out, and I still kind of am. Games don't really need lots of cores. They say they do, and definitely there's background processes that would love you to have more cores, but at the end of the day, the game itself, with some CPU prioritization, does fine. Cool, cool. That hits my, uh, my brick as well, so... Oh, there's a guy behind me. Oh, hello there. Is, is that a mummy? I think the one thing that you pray for is that the, the boss character doesn't even get, like, first or second. Yo, Mr. Gingerbeard Man, by the way, I missed your, your message from a minute ago, but how you doing? 
Hope you're having a swell, swell day and a fantabulous week right now. On Monday, that's that's <laughs> that's how you know you're having a great week. But yeah, no, this is this is Lego Races. This is the game as uh, as little as I actually remember it. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess I'm just playing the whole thing in, in one sitting. I don't remember how good the two-player was, because I do remember my sister absolutely hating how I played this game. Probably because I did this all the time. I played it a fair bit as a kid as well. Uh, the, the story was I had a handful of PS1 games robbed from my house, and LEGO Races was one of them. Uh, so, I never played it beyond the age of six. But, uh, playing it again, I'm like, yeah, this is... This is pretty much as I remember it. Um, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. Also, I guess this isn't the PS1 version, but... Uh... But, uh, I mean, we live in the age of, uh... You know, digital preservation. It's very hard for games like this to... You know, go unpreserved. Like, even... A game as old as this... As... Kind of primitive in terms of its engine? It... It... It has one fixed resolution. It does not like... It has... It uses a video player that has, like, security issues with it, and it's literally disabled in Windows, but you can, you can get it to work. You can chuck DG Voodoo at it, and it... I mean, it's working so far. We're up to cup 5 out of 7. Uh, you see someone made a remaster of LEGO Rock Raiders. Oh my gosh, someone did. I've gotta, I've gotta, like, catch up on my LEGO lore, because uh, I remember playing, like, a lot of LEGO Flash games back in the day. I used to be, like, real big on the, um, on the, uh, they had, like, the windback cars. I think they were just called the racers. Oh my gosh. Uh, manicminers.barraclama.com. Oh, there you go, are you at home? I'll, I'll visit that in my, uh, my spare, uh, or in my time after the stream, but, uh... I can't even remember like Lego Rock Raiders that much. <laughs> My Lego like knowledge. I used to play like a fair bit with Lego, but Lego got super expensive after a while. It's like you get your basic like like bucket of bricks, and that's like fine. That's like super fine and affordable. And then it's just like Lego like nowadays. It's just like it's an RTS. It's an RTS. I made RTS LEGO. RTS LEGO would be... I've actually got to like toy that out now. I know this waterfall's a secret. I, I, no way. No way is the waterfall not a secret. No, I want it. Yeah, thanks. Whoa. There we go. I, 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 I need to state this again. The drifting is amazing. I, I I thought it was kind of jank and now I was just like, nah, this is a, this is exactly what drifting should be. Just just hard steer. Who needs the brakes? The, the brakes is so worthless in this game. Why don't I just take the shortcut every time? You don't even need to boost for it. Because I would have missed that turbo. See ya! You gotta manage your dig side and complete missions. Ooh. Oh, I, I don't know why I was thinking Rock Raiders like it was like Rock Band. Like Lego Rock Band. <laughs> I, I, I didn't realize it was actually rocks. Blue Shield. That's not Blue Shield. Gosh, I need a, like, a list of Lego games. Have I even... I don't think I've played any Lego games on this channel. I haven't played too many, but there's definitely like, yeah, there was a period of, of Lego.com games, and yeah, I remember playing the Racers game, which was, uh, um, it's, it's one of those, like, web page MMOs, where it's like, it just kind of randomly, like, challenges someone, and you've got to, like, queue up a challenge, and then eventually it just plays out by itself, and you're like, oh, why did my guy, like, fail? 
But it was like, that was a fun, like, just period of the internet. Um, obvious, uh, if people, if people remember the LEGO.com website, like, uh, Backlot is, uh, probably one that people will maybe remember. Junkbot. Wow, he's already that far ahead. Give me the green. Dang it. I, I had the green and I, I just messed it up though. So, someone is making an independent Bionicle game that's going to be free. As long as you avoid, uh, you know, copyright claims, they should go for it. Oh, shout out to the, uh, the Mata Nui point and click Bionicle game. What was that promoting? I don't even know. I guess the toys. I guess the Bionicles. But yeah, no, Le Lego legit, like, maybe, maybe I should, like, Project Flashpoint, like, just go back through time and just, like, here is a bunch of Flash games that existed to try and promote things. I, there's, there's, like, a handful of Flash games that were in, like, specifically promoting, like, one thing. And yeah, yeah, I, I mean, the nice thing is that they're, they're not that expensive to make these Flash games. They clearly aren't, like, replacing proper games. And they're also, like, directly there to sell another product. It's like, it's just there, it's a nice little fun involved ad. Um, like, uh, yeah, I remember the, um, I don't know why, off the top of my head, I remember the, on Cartoon Network's website, they had a Teen Titans, um, fighting game. And it was really solid really solid. Like, I've never been too big on fighting games, and even then, I played that one for a while. I was like, man, that's, that's good. I'm gonna watch Teen Titans now. You, it worked, Cartoon Network. You're not doing that anymore. Please do it. I will watch your media if I know if that has got a good fighting flash game. Pass the hammer. Whoop. I didn't even look up what this guy's name was, or even pay attention to this cutscene. It's just, he's going, and I'm gonna teleport in front of him. There's gameplay, oh, this one is, yeah, that's, oh, that's, <laughs> that's the last link. Oh, he's right behind me, oh, he's right behind me. Is that just always green on the right there? Which used to be the left. Ah, that was a YouTube vid. Thanks for the follow, my man. Appreciate it. One day we'll hit a million followers on on Twitch. Until then, <laughs> one step at a time. And off I go again. Into the brick dimension. I do keep mentioning I, uh, enjoyed the Lego movie. Yeah, it's always green on the inside. Uh, is he gonna pop me? Oh, we got this, we got this, we got this. There we go. It, okay, I panicked for a bit, it's a second off the top. But no, no, it worked, it worked. Yeah. Oh yeah, I... Uh, Websites should bring back Flash games. Oh, not like, they don't have to be Flash, but like... <clears throat> there's lots of web run times now, and even web run times that run Flash. So like, if you really wanted to do Flash, but without the security vulnerabilities, well, that nah, is your, is your chance. It's really not worth it going down there to get that one white brick, is it? We take his little shortcut. We're never gonna see what's around the proper way, though. Alright, give me a green. Give me a green. I think there might be a green down the right here. Oh, really up there? Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, any other buyer's guide things? Yeah, DDR5 is expensive. So, uh, don't feel like you have to go for it, but yeah, if you find a 3900k, I don't know, maybe you kind of should. Not for the benefits, well, the benefits are there, but... I don't know. It's like this little... look at that, it's like three different side cuts. Why cut to the center when you can just actually skip so much? 
this track is shaped like three like little like jutting out prongs and you can skip two of them. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna want a green game. We're gonna, we're gonna need a green. I don't think we need a green. We'll just we'll just drive to the end. Yeah, okay. Curse everyone in the process. Maybe that's why I don't remember some of these tracks because I had the the good shortcuts that I just ignore. Who knows? Von Baron, I just I've just noticed his name. Also, that's it. That's a uh, cup five. I am number one. Hey. So, uh, yeah. Also, I guess Call of Duty has come out, and uh, yeah, we're approaching the big November releases of the year, which means prepare yourselves. It's Game of the Year award nomination season. Where the games that are Game of the Year awards, it's Mystique from X-Men. Wow. Or Gypsy Moth. Gypsy Moth, wow. Um, yeah, prep, prep yourself on that one. I don't know, I haven't been playing too many, like, super brand new games. Switch Sports is still my, my jam right now. Still waiting on that, uh... Since you think you can outrace a veteran pilot like me? That's a buggy! Oh my gosh, that face. That's a good face right there. Um... <laughs> drop down, boop. Look at that stylish blue buggy. You can't beat that. That is pure style. I hate this UFO. <laughs> This is what all DirectX games looked like back in the day, and they had fixed function pipeline, and everyone used it. Every game looked the same. Now, every game looks the same because Unreal Engine and people don't change default Unreal Engine shaders, but... I still think it's amazing that it's just like... That was a period where I was just like, your game was at the mercy of the graphics card. Like, you, you ran the game and your graphics card would hopefully render it correctly, and if it didn't, whoops. Now we're able to program it so hard and the graphics cards just do, like, very primitive, like, just interpretations of things. They can still get it wrong. Like, they can definitely get it wrong, but it's, it's much harder for a game to look very different on different graphics cards. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I'm gonna know why, because he's right behind me. Okay, off we go. I love all these like little spaceships here. This track is cool. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna do the blender lock. This track is my coolest one. I think I like it because it's just nice and green. It's like nothing is more alien than the color green. Here we go. <laughs> oh. oh, I can't figure it out. Okay, it, no, he's figuring, he's figuring something out. <laughs> he's figuring something out. Oh, Willa the Witch. Willa the Witch. There's Willa the Witch right there. And away we go. I'm gonna get that boost around the outside here. Or not, I'm just gonna run into the wall. And not get any of it. Okay, sure. Oh, he's picking up the- oh. That's- that's not kind at all. I think last time I had such a great lead that I turbo through this, like, series of bends every single time. And now I am not- <laughs> I'm not, uh, having any of it. How far forward is he? Jeez. Gosh. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess. Yeah. What else? Watch yourself for spending this uh, this uh, Black Friday season. 
Click Frenzy, Cyber Monday. You know how I do be. They're all. Why? Why is he turning the wrong way? I'm. Oh, I I went through the the mummy thing. I went through the mummy thing at the end of the track. I couldn't even couldn't even tell I did that for a while. Wow, how far ahead is he? How far ahead is he? I've been driving like trash, but he's also been driving like supremely. Okay, I just I, give me a boost. Give me a boost. Give me a boost because I am so far behind. I just need a. I'm, I'm not gonna stop for a boost, but oh my gosh. This is this is real struggle territory right here. I wouldn't mind just accepting the second second place. There's no boost. This <laughs> well, this is this is how I fall into chaos. How, how do you catch up with a guy when you're not given the power-up that you need? Uh, there are there are no boosts. Anyway, we're, we're back to we're back to this problem. Oh, there we go. You think I could do it? You think I could make it? I've got to make sure I don't pick up a different color. Oh, no, no. This is painful. Time to pause, restart circuit because this game is amazing, and that's not the whole circ. The whole circuit is the whole thing. Okay, well, like, yeah, I, I was expecting. I was thinking. At some point, I'm gonna get screwed over, and it's like, yeah, if you're not, if you're not first, please get second, and if you're not second, please get third, and if you're not third, you've lost 27 points to the leader, which becomes super duper painful to catch up with. Because it's like, yeah, if you've lost 27 points to the leader, um, I'm just doing the math in my head, it's like, you'd have to come first in every other track. Perhaps I should have swallowed my pride and at least gone for it, but... Eh. Well, it would take two. Hey, Bullfrog, how's it going? Greetings to LEGO Racers, the greatest video game known to man. You make a LEGO car and you drive it... And, and then you warp and you run into walls. Why is there a guy directly behind me? Who is not the boss? How? Uh, when's when's this game from? Uh, 1999, I think. I am playing the PC version, which actually runs fairly nice. If you go on PC Gaming Wiki, apparently it looks like it's going to be a nightmare to, to play. I am. Oh, gosh. No, no, I needed that. Um, yeah, it looks like it would be a nightmare to, to play, because it's like, oh, like, you need a compat- Oh my gosh. You need, a, like, compatibility setting the game to Windows XP, you gotta use DG Voodoo, uh, you gotta run with, like, a no video fix. Uh, oh yeah, you can't install the game. You have to, like, someone has made an alternative installer on GitHub. <laughs> it's like, it then sees the, the disk drive, sets up the, you know, all the installs, uh, stuff. Uh, so the bricks, um, so there's four kinds of power-ups. The green ones give you a boost, the blue ones give you a shield, the yellow ones give you a thing you drop behind you, and the red ones give you a thing you shoot in front of you. Um, and then, uh, so you pick up the color, and then you pick up up to three white bricks, and each one levels up the power-up. Maybe that's my problem, I did that last time. So, uh, so the trick is, you gotta well, not lose your power-up, is to get the, your green boost, and then just, like, level 3 it, and then walk forward. And then hopefully you do it more times than the, than the AI do. It's cheap, and I love it. 
Like, why shoot a projectile forward when I can skip a quarter of the track? Or in some cases, the whole track. And the drifting is amazing. The drifting is so good. Because you don't, you don't, like, power slide. You just, like, you don't build, like, a drift boost. You just go for it. There you go. Away you go. He's right. Oh, he's about, he's about to touch me. Alright, give me a green. Oh, cool. <laughs> cool. Thanks. Uh, also, this is the second last cup in the game. I have been playing for an hour 15. And I'm pretty sure I spent 15 minutes trying to, like, design this car. It's, a. Uh, it's going in the gratuitously short game camp. But you know what? That's the charm of it. You don't need a game that lasts forever, you need a, a game that you remember. And I'll certainly remember driving this rickety thing around. Well, I guess you win some and you lose some, and last time I lost horrendously. And this time, I don't know what I did, but... You can totally see that red dot rubber banding so hard though, like he's zooming around all the corners. This one is tough. This one is tough. Because he's not playing fair, that guy. He's not doing, he's not doing... I mean, we'll, we'll get to, we'll get to the last one. We'll get, we'll get the last, oh my gosh, nearly <laughs> got hit. Um, the last one is a, a nightmare. Thanks for the follow, Mr. Klutz. Uh, but, yeah, the, the last one is an amazing, like, just, like, demonstration of luck. Do I love it? I don't know, but it's certainly, it's certainly something. Uh, okay, I'm gonna need some, some white. Oh, I'm just gonna, just gonna zoom past him. Sorry, bro. There we go. Okay, he is, he is driving wheels off his car, I'm just gonna go right forward, I guess. And he's right behind me. The best place you want someone to be. Keep your friends close, your enemies closer, and now he's going away. He's going. <laughs> Look at that stylish blue car, I can't get over it. The best part, there's two bricks here, so... Anything you can do, I can do better. Isn't that the jam? So, uh... <laughs> Again, I I don't know what's with this, like, game's fascination with pirate levels, so... There's, 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 there's just bizarrely too many of them. Not too many, but, like... More than you'd really, like... Think. Get out of there. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. Zoom in ahead. So I guess once I hit 90, I've, de I've basically cemented it in, but still. 90, sorry, 90 points. I should, I should contextualize that. Um... I guess Pirates just won the Pirates vs. Ninjas arguments, didn't they? I remember as a kid, I used to be a pirate guy you know, instead of a ninja guy. So I was like, Pirates can get drunk. And they have guns. Ninjas don't get that luxury. Ninjas have to be, like, you know, principled and invisible. Was that one sound of someone going, Yes! <laughs> He's stealing all my bricks. We just have to be boring and quiet. Pirates get to be loud, more 
Jones. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Okay, I swear, the, the boss character never runs into your traps. He's just always driving past them. Also, the, the mini-map is just Texas. <laughs> sure, sure. I hit a comic explosion and now I was in fifth place. Oh, and he's still ahead. He's still going. Oh. He's still going, man. He's he's zooming. I mean, I've locked this championship down, but uh, the next one, the next one separates the wheat from the crop, you know. At least the nice thing about the next one is that it's one race, so you either win it or you lose it. There's no, there's no ums, no buts. Where's my turbo? Are we, are we just going no turbo again? We did this, we did this before. Or it's just like I'm walking around, I'm driving around, and there ain't no greens anywhere. No, oh, okay. What did he, the that doesn't even hit anyone. And and oh, the green right at the end, and he stole it. Okay, well, <laughs> unlucky third place, but eh. Hang your head in shame, both of us, Will of the Witch. Eleven seconds behind, jeez. Yeah. All right, well, anyway, that's. That's that. Won that one. Been there. Won that. Got the trophy. Number uno. I think there's a different animation for coming in all six places as well, but no one wants to figure out what fifth place looks like. Congratulations. You have won the Gypsy Moth Scar set. So... We have unlocked a new circuit, that's right, this guy from the intro who won. It's him, Rocket Racer, with his track, Rocket Racer Run. There we go. Congratulations, you've proven yourself to be a true LEGO champion. But it's not over yet, there is someone waiting to meet you. This intro, this is like, you know it's serious business right here. JPEG. At last, a worthy opponent, but if you want to be the best, you have to race me on my own track. Are you ready? I am just, I'm not ready at all, man. So, uh, this is his track, uh... This is just good luck. This is good luck track. Pick up your boost and hope for the best. Uh, the super annoying part about this track is this bit right here. Because if you do your, your teleport warp and you're in the wrong place, you'll go forward here and miss, like, you know, <laughs> miss the fact you're supposed to turn left or right, depending on which direction you're coming in from. I need the boost. How am I going to beat him at the boost if he's getting the boost before me? At least there's plenty of, like, oh, I... Hey, how you doing? At least it's- oh, well, there he goes again. There's plenty of boosts along the track, but it's... Oh. I'm gonna keep myself up for a boost. Ah! Oh. Give me a green, give me a green. No! Dang it! <laughs> I should've hit him. I should've, like, gone for him. At least, also, as well, it's, it's fairly quick. And I keep putting myself ahead of him, somehow. I'm just gonna- no, no, that's mine, that's mine. Oh. 
I'm wacky and out of control. Oh look, it's a green. Now, I'm, I'm just hoping he doesn't get, like, a boost and then, like, and he will get a boost. But, like, he's not rubber banding himself right now. I don't know. Well, there we go, I did it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. So, I was expecting that to be a bit harder. Oh well, we did it! We did it! Woo! Woo! No, I'm pretty sure that was it. I thought it was once. I don't remember doing it twice. Yeah, it was just once. Yeah, okay. Uh, so that's it. That's all the LEGO races in an hour 25. <laughs> Congratulations, I knew you had it in you, mate! <laughs> this guy, do, do you remember, who was the guy who like hosted uh, Savo on Nickelodeon and like Aussie Nickelodeon like 2004, 2005? I think his name was Dave, I used to think like Rocket Racer looks like him. You're the greatest LEGO racing champion of all time. <laughs> that's uh, that's it. That was the whole game, so thank you, Kerry J. Ganofsky. Who pitched this? Yeah, I, no one knows Australian Savo hoes. That would be the most, like, what's it? I th I'm pretty sure his name's Dave Lawson. I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm looking it up. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, that's, uh, Dave Lawson. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm getting a lot of different people called Dave Lawson. Savo? I'm getting obituary, that's not... I don't know if that's him. I, it doesn't, I don't know if it looks like him. Oh well. You know, dank pods. <laughs> Mark Livingston. We gotta sit through these credits, man. These people spent the time to develop the game and then have their name show up for 12 seconds at a time. So you've got to sit through that. This game wasn't even released on a Mac. But yeah, no, it's a... It was, it was fun, it was neat. It's uh, abusable as heck. Like, <laughs> like I, don't, I don't know if they really intended for that boost to be that good, but... You know what, I'll accept it. And uh, other than that, like... <laughs> That's it, that's the game. Uh, I think the only thing left to do really is to show off just the the pieces that you unlock, but most of them come off the... all the children. Do we have any, any developer babies? Any, any developer babies or... no, that's it. That's it. That's it, yeah, that's the whole game, so uh... That, oh, I guess there is one thing I guess I haven't shown off, but I'm not showing off. Uh, in the timed race, uh, you've got uh, this this lady. Yeah, all the time. She's she's here all the time, but like you don't unlock all the um, only 12 tracks. Uh, you don't have to do the mirror versions. Um, if you beat her, because if you if you go into any of these and you attempt to you know you're attempting to beat her ghost, if you do this on every single track you'll get, um, uh, her own parts in the, in the, well, not the driver builder. You'll get her own parts in the, uh, oh, give me the, give me the car. You'll get her own parts in this bit. So now we've got the, the brick set, the speedy set, the moon set, the castle set, but then you get the pirate set, where you get a bunch of bits that are off his car. You know, some fun things as well, like, uh, sticks, parrot, you know. This guy's got the cursed triple pieces, I guess. Man, this, this car really doesn't have much going on it. It's got barrels! How cool is that? The night guy, the bat guy. Like, what is that? This <laughs> is just... <laughs> That's as much detail as the actual Lego piece even has. It's got fire bars though. Indian Jones here, lots of runes. Scorpion piece. Some of these I'm pretty sure we saw already. It's like that 
That's the same brake light, it's just got a number play in the middle. HC514, is that a cheat? Maybe. Baron von Baron, he's got jungly pieces, sure. Dynamite's always good. Well, it was, it's, it's not quite Indiana Jones, it's just Desert Explorer. So, and then uh, some rocket racer parts, which makes your car look very bizarre looking. And, uh, and I think they all also have um, their own, like, base. Like, if I was to remove bricks, and then I hit cancel at the top, but it's like, I'm pretty sure, yeah, they've got their own, like, little bases as well. So you can make a car that's, well, definitely got way more space to put bricks on. What limit is there with the bricks? I don't think there even is. But the bricks are fairly simple, so... Other than that, that's kind of it. I don't really have anything more to show with this game. I was... Off the top of my head, I was kind of going like, Yeah, this will probably take, like, most of a stream. And maybe a bit more of another stream. But this is like, yeah, we're good, so... Uh, but I, I, I think that's a good showcase into what this game is and... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's on my Abandonware, and you could probably play it, the N64 version if you want a simpler version to play. Um, but yeah, until then, I'd like to thank you all so very, very much for walk uh, for walking, for watching. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this, uh, you can follow here, or watch the re-uploaded VOD on YouTube, and, uh, <laughs> that's kind of it, I, I got nothing more to plug. Uh, my Pleroma, if you want to see me talk about terrible things on the internet, or if you want stream alerts, they come in there. Um, I don't really have too much to say. It's just, it, it, it's a neat little one-off. I've usually been, this game is getting exciting, but it's, like, it's over. It's, that's it. It was start to finish, that was the whole game. Goes into those one-shot wonder things. Those one-shot wonder streams. Yeah, but yeah, no, I hope you at home have a wonderful week ahead of you, because uh, it's only Monday. And uh, until then, stay safe, eat your greens, don't stay up too late, and most importantly, uh, drive with a seatbelt, apparently, because I wasn't. I had the spoiler on the front of the car the whole time. Uh. <laughs>